Hello and welcome to Model Railroading for Dummies, the how-to show for Model Railroading Dummies just like me. Now last time we cut out the pieces for the elevator, this it, elevator kit bashing project. Now today we're going to start by putting some of these pieces together or so we can start putting the whole thing together. So without any further ado, let's go down to the workbench and start working on it right now. Okay, here we are now at the workbench. Now as you see here, I have made a base for the whole thing here. Basically, the elevator and the seed slash feed building over in here. And I did it by putting together, I think, 20 thousands styrene three pieces together to make about sixty thousands it could be ten but I'm pretty sure it's twenty thousands <clears throat> so that's one thing I've done here so the main thing here is we need to get this piece and this piece here together First of all, I need to clean up this little bit of the nubs from the molding process. Okay, so then they're going to lay down like so, which I can see this here is going to have to go because we're going to need to put some backing here and so this little ledge here which is great for putting two sides together is absolutely horrible when putting two wall sections together so that's the first thing we need to do just trim it down. Just being careful not to cut oneself. I've already had a bad enough day. Last thing I want is to have to quick stop the video to and a bandage. There's probably better ways of doing this, but this is what I'm using. Okay, <clears throat> now, the number one thing you're going to want to do is make sure you know which is the top part and which is the bottom. And then right on the back. What's the top and bottom? Because with this molding here, the last thing you want is this to be upside down where the water can easily get into the wood. So that's number one priority. Then you want to get a ruler. Okay, you just want to get a ruler and then clamp it down and voila you got a very very straight edge with which you can line this up so that you're not going to be screwing this up 
Okay, now we're going to need some sort of a backing to strengthen this up. Now you could use bits of styrene or stuff like that, but I've got this wooden dowel here. I have no idea where I got it or what size it is. Okay, it's a quarter inch. So, with this we are going to have to use super glue because wood it, because plastic cement's not going to work with wood, obviously. Reason one of the reasons why I'm going with the wood dowel is that it's fairly strong and really help give some good support. So I'll just give a nice generous dose in the back here. Get this all nicely lined up and squish it into place. Same for this one here. Gonna do this one at a bit of an angle. There. Now that greatly reinforces it more than a regular or um, styrene might do. Yep, that is nice and sturdy. Nice salt, nice and solid. Okay, while we're here, might as well finish clean up the flash here. Okay. So now You're going to need this piece here, which will go there. Once again, the flash needs to be cleaned up. Okay, so this will be going right here. And I can see this needs a little bit more clean up. There's, and I lost my knife. This, oh, there it is. Not been my day. As I said, first of all, our dog died. We've been expecting it for the past couple of weeks. He's just been wasting away. Then the sheet that we had all nicely sorted. They got together. Now just now getting the ruler for to measure how big this dowel is. I broke the plastic straw from my water cup. Not been a good day. Which is what model railroading is for. Have a bad day? You can use this to fix it. <laughs> okay. So let's bring this in without knocking anything on the floor. Okay, and I think we'll continue using super glue just for the fact that it dries a little bit faster. Yeah, I guess I can do it. Of course, do the whole length. Okay, now let's get 
bead of glue and on the edge here. Hands are unsteady tonight for some reason. And a little bit of glue is oozed out. Just going to clean that up, even though it's going to, even though it's going to be on my fingers. Get this one out of the way. It's right in the way. I can't get that. Some glue oozed out, and my finger stuck over here. Okay, let's just hold this in place for a little while until the glue sets up. Then I can put in. The other piece over on this side. There, the glue is set up pretty much. Yep. That's the one thing I like about super glue. Now, first things first, check for any. Flash points. Can be cleaned up. That looks good. There. Glue that onto the edge, or, or clamp the clamp down on the other end of this. Then of course, put some glue on the base. If I can hold on to the glue. This bottle's nearly empty. Okay. Just set that in place and just swing it on in. Yeah, this is starting to take shape already, which is always most encouraging when that happens. Okay, so far this is looking very good. So, I have realized that I could have done cut a couple pieces here because I the two pieces that go here. It's the same length as this wall piece here, or this piece here. So no big trouble there. The biggest problem is, that I've just discovered, is that, you know, there's no back piece here. And so, it's like, yeah, it, it might kind of go out a little bit, or in a little bit, or twisted. So I'm going to see if I can maybe come up with a backing piece so that it, it'll help support it <clears throat> and let's see and so this piece here would go about like so see, yeah it needs a lot of thinking here see how this is gonna work now I think the next piece is we, we should set this off to the side for now. See if I can find a perfect place where it's out of the way. Okay, so next pieces we're going to put together are the, these pieces here. 
pieces that we spent a lot of time on last time. So, once again, we'll probably just do the old, you see, old ruler here. And, yeah, that's right. Got, yeah. So, with these sort of railing thingamabobbers, it's going to make things nice and interesting. So we're going to want to go like this so that it'll be flat. Yeah, so we can go like that. And once again, I think we'll probably just go with the dowel again. Just for that extra bit of strength. So, I'm going to turn the camera off while I quick cut me a couple more pieces. Okay, you got the pieces. These two pieces cut. <coughs> now... This is that's the unopened one. Now, reline this up. And once again, let's put a nice dab of glue on and ram it in place. Same with this bottom one. Ram this one in place. And probably don't move it uh, five seconds afterwards. Probably would work better. Just let it soak up for a second or two. There. look too bad if I say so myself. I'll just let it lay flat and completely dry out. Now while that is drying I'll bring you back to this piece here which I started screwing up last week. Well, oh, I was that far, far along. Well, I found a perfect use for this. I mean it is the I have already, I mean, is the perfect length and everything. So, but it's a mere opposite. Now, either I'm going to use this piece, which I probably will, or I'll make a comp. Oh. Or I'll make a copy of it. But, but here's my thinking. Now, if I were to put this here, then I have a nice edge here with which I can place my roof pieces like so. So I can have the roof pieces here and have something nice to lay it on. So what turned what started as as a mistake actually turned out halfway decent. Once in a while you get lucky. Now, one thing this does show me though is this little edge piece here. Let's see. There, I think you can see it better. 
this edge piece here, which is actually the support for the spot where the trucks and tractors and wagons come in to unload their grain. And that's to help support it. Well, I was hoping that this would be tall enough to overshadow this. It's not. It just perfectly fits right underneath that L shape. Of course. So what I'm going to have to do is just trim that flat. And then just have to deal with the fact that, you know, that the, this nice steelwork detail is not there for some reason. Fortunately, this side faces the corner. So, fortunately, we're not going to have to deal with it. The worst part about it is, I did not realize this height until after I glued this in just now. But man, this is solid, and I am liking that. So yeah, nice and solid. And I'm thinking when we have this piece, if we get this glued in, I think it's going to be nice and strong. At least that's my hope. We can always hope. So, before I put any more on, I think I'm going to have to start trimming this. Okay, I've sort of trimmed this off. It's not perfect, but once again, like I said, it's facing the corner. So, when this is painted and weathered, hopefully it will hardly show. Which is all the point. But if it doesn't really show, then you've succeeded. Next up, I think we will go with these pieces. So first off, we will probably just go for this end piece here. Just put a few dams on. And slider Put her in place. Make sure she stays put. Okay. Now let's make sure the bottom is smooth, which is not quite. a little bit of flash here and there. Let's clean that up. So we want to glue this end here. I'm 
think it's time for a new one. the worst part about getting a new one. It's a little bit like using you know, a new razor after you've been needing to get one for after you've been needing to after you've been needing to get uh, put a new razor blade in. You press a little bit too hard. <laughs> Okay, just carefully put some glue all on the bottom here. Okay, that tedious work is done. Her in position. Okay. Now, ah, here it is. Now we really need to make sure that this is to get it about as square as possible. But we're going to get it. We're going to need to put this end piece here. Put a fair amount of glue on there. Place it in position. Let's scooch this on down. get this bottom place exactly where I want it so it doesn't bow in which like it's wanting to do straight edge I'm gonna use what well, to snap I just snapped a bit this off and use it get that little piece of styrene strip or whatever out of the way and I'll use this as a base so that it's nice and straight if I can fresh glue over here. It's too long. It's like you want to need to hold the one in position and the other end needs a little bit of holding. There, I think I finally got it. Starting to get enough glue on my fingers. 
it's going to be a pain. Have to take some isopropyl alcohol to help clean that off. Yeah, after a lot of fiddling there, I think we finally have got it. And we've got our basic structure now. This is more or less what she's going to look like. And uh, I'm rather... I'm pleased at how this is turning out as far as looks go. I think it's going to look like an awesomely big building. Which is exactly the look I was looking for. Okay, that's going to have to be it for today. Things are really starting to shape up. I'm really liking how the building is really starting to take form. And being able to visualize how it's going to look like. I think it's going to look great. So, until next time, keep working on your model railroads, keep having fun, and until next time, keep your trains on the tracks.